Basic amplitude modulation is a really easy way to get started with oscillators in order to make really unique sounds. In this patch, I've got my standard audio on off. I've got a table that's going to read out one of the uh, channels of this particular patch and a VU meter for the left and for the right. We're going to try some stereo in this patch. I've got a sine wave generator at the top that's generating A440. And that's going into two different branches, a multiplication object, whereas uh, we will be controlling uh, the amplitude, doing some amplitude modulation. Another multiplication object to scale that down to make it a little softer on our ears. And then some side branches where I'm basically capturing uh, the decibels and feeding them out into the VU meter. Let's take a listen to what it sounds like right now. A straight up sine wave, no problem. First way that we can uh, affect the amplitude is to create a line object. It's L-I-N-E with a tilde. And the line object expects a message with two values. The destination, which we'll say 0.5, and over how long. So let's say 1,000 milliseconds. We'll create another message that is zero, so that's where we're going in terms of uh, value. And over how long? Let's say 5,000 milliseconds. Pipe those into line. And then we'll feed these into the right inlet of the multiplication objects. Okay, start the audio engine and ramp up and ramp down over five seconds the line object does have a control rate counterpart just get rid of the tilde so you can use line um, and there are some more advanced line objects that we'll look at in later movies so you can get really cool rudimentary amplitude modulation by using other oscillators so let's create another os and we're going to use sub-audio rate frequencies. So these are frequencies lower than about 24 hertz. And these will be moving very slow and will be pushing up and down the amplitude, giving us a tremolo effect. So I'm going to use 2 hertz. And I will also shape the amplitude of the modulator. So use the multiplication object, audio rate. And as well, I'm going to affect the amplitude of the modulator. Now it's going to get confusing, so I'm going to label these. So we will call this um, our source. I won't use official terminology yet. We'll just be very casual about it. And this is our modulator. Let's put it over here. Okay, so we'll pipe these in. No multiplication yet, or no um, variance on the right inlet for the modulator. Turn it on. Okay, and now we'll create, um, let's make an H slider. Right click it, properties. And make it go from zero to one. And output it. Let's choose properties again. Let's change the width. We'll make it really short. Okay, now let's create a knob. And now we'll change the rate of the oscillator. Okay. Right click the knob, properties. Let's make the rate from 0 to 10, or the range from 0 to 10. Get it going. Okay, so that's how fast we're modulating. From 0 hertz to 10 hertz. And this is actually depth. 
So since we've got two channels, we can obviously do some pretty cool stereo effects. I'll move this over and disconnect the modulator from the left channel. Copy the modulator and connect it to the right channel, or the left channel rather. Send some values. All right, and we start it. I hope you don't get vertigo listening to that, but that gives you a really uh, quick picture of how you can adjust amplitude uh, on just a, a basic signal to get some really cool tremolo effects. And as well, remember, there is an amplitude level here, too, that you could affect. And as you can imagine, you could modulate the modulator, and it really uh, gets pretty wild as to the things you can do in chaining um, all of these oscillators together to affect modu um, amplitude modulation.